Well, here's one I've been wanting to do for a long time. Welcome to the Thistle Hotel Hotel Experience at Heathrow Airport. Without further ado, anyone who knows Heathrow Airport and knows the Thistle knows that every good journey starts with the pods. It does cost £7 each way, just to point out, to use these pods to get to and from the Thistle. There is a... If you're travelling hand luggage only and you're familiar with Heathrow, you could probably walk between the car park and um, the hotel, go bypassing everything. But I really don't think... I, I tried it and I really don't think it's worth it. Just pay the £7 and go through the main entrance. Although... If you're flying out of Terminal 5, this is super convenient. It's worth the £7, in my opinion. Uh, the Thistle, obviously, has various rooms facing the airport as well as facing inwards. Um, I did request a hotel room facing the airport, and the Thistle did not disappoint. But before we get on to that, let us explore the Runway Bar, which is one of the most popular viewing areas at Heathrow Airport. As with a lot of places at Heathrow, this spotting view can also be very much at the mercy of the runway. I happen to luck out. Um, I ordered a pizza and a Camden Town pint. As you can see, it came to about £14. It was quite expensive. What would you expect for London? Now, you can get some very good ground views of British Airways planes here at this all, all day, all year round. However, departures and arrivals is very much subject to the wind. I had the arrivals that day, so I got quite lucky. However, you can get just as good footage of departures, but like I said, you got to be aware the runways at Heathrow do chop and change and you might not always get the views you want. This is my room. I had a double bed uh, for one person. I was spending the one night in this place. I had a gig in London to go to at the Scala and then obviously I was flying out the next day. So this was a perfect hotel for that and the pod system made it easy to get around. This is the room service menu. It is pretty identical to the restaurant. So if you want to pause that, go back and pause. You can have a read of what's on that. I had enough space for my light luggage. And I also had a pretty decent view out the window, which was amazing. Although the window was a bit dirty and it was like two or three panels of glass. But you can't have everything. I was easily able to go down. Um, as you can see, I had teas and coffees, plenty, plus some Walker's shortbread and two bottles of water, one sparkling and one still. Don't worry about that fibre one, that was something I bought from home. But yeah, it was a nice little um, mix of stuff and I really enjoyed it. I made the most of it as well. Um, that water came in very handy as it was quite warm that April day when I was staying. And the loo review time. Very fancy, very nice. Um, as you can see, they had little bottles to give us for the shower, for shampoo and shower gel. The shower itself worked just a treat. Everything you'd expect from a hotel bathroom. And as I said, there's plenty of storage. As you can see, there's a view. This is what I had of any of the arrivals. That's a BA Dreamliner. Foreboding the flight I would be taking two days after this was filmed. And another look round the double bedroom. Although I think I filmed this uh, just as I was leaving. So obviously I packed up all my stuff. So it looks a bit neater sand the bed. Obviously, there are two ways to lock in the door, which is handy. You've got uh, the main lock plus that little latch lock, which is quite retro these days. You don't see many of those. But that could be good if you're expecting room service. As you can see, they had some pictures of London dotted around the place. Um, it was quite well lit through the windows and the corridor was a mix of white, beige and brown. So it was quite neutral and everything stood out nicely. One thing I do love about some of these international hotels, especially near airports, is when they do the multiple cities with the multiple time zones. Checkout is 11am here, and this room did cost me £85 for the one night, and obviously I paid extra for any pod journeys that I did. You can pay at reception, it's pretty easy, £7 each way, although if you do have a car parked at the Terminal 5 car park, it is obviously free to use if you are not staying at the Thistle, just thought I'd let you guys know that. There's the opening times for the bar and viewing terrace, um, should you wish to go out there. Don't ask me if it's open to the public, because I don't know. Uh, rules top and change all the time. And this uh, exit out the back takes you down to the car park where you can go through the pods. Something important I will point out, though, the pods do stop running around 11 o'clock. So after 11 o'clock, you ain't going to be able to use the pod to get there. So you'll either have to get a taxi or try and see if you can grab a local bus or a hotel hopper. But nonetheless, it's pretty easy to get around. And uh, so can't really fault this place to be quite honest for my stay the room was great and you know, bed was comfortable views were amazing of the airport the price I paid was pretty good going didn't try the breakfast but again didn't need to on this one but based on this I'll have to rate this 13 out of 15